Now sometimes in Apple Mail you're going to want to organize your mail in specific ways. People often ask how do you add a folder here in this left column so that you can organize mail by recipient, sender, topic, whatever it might be. It's actually very straightforward and similar in function uh, to how address book, iPhoto, iTunes, all of those programs work. That's the nice thing about the Mac system. It's fairly uniform in how it works. So it's fairly intuitive after you've learned one program. You'll most likely understand how the others work too. Now, if you want to create a mailbox that is a folder for your mail to be saved, and you just drag and drop what you want into those folders, find the plus sign at the bottom left of the mail uh, window, click on that, and select New Mailbox. Now here it says Location on my Mac. That's really where you want to save your mailboxes. That means that the mail you throw in there uh, are then local, or that is copied to the hard drive on your computer, thereby automatically backed up onto your time machine drive if you've set up a time machine drive as I recommended. Give the mailbox a, uh, a name. In this case I'll just give it a name of Skype because that's one of the uh, emails I've received for setting up a Skype account. Now on my Mac here on the left I've got Skype. Note that there are small triangles to the left of these categories. If I click that it closes that particular category and I can't see those folders. Once you have 20 or 30 or 50 various uh, folders or mailboxes, they're referred to as mailboxes here, on this, in this column, you're not going to necessarily have that open. All right, now I have a Skype mailbox ready, and I can just drag the Skype mail into that particular box. Now let's say you receive mail from Skype on a regular basis, and you don't want to have to go through and fish out the Skype emails every single time depending on how much you have. Two things you can do. One is to filter your mail by going up to this filter box right here, search box. Click in there and type in, in this case, Skype. And it will show me all of the Skype mail that's come in. I can then select all of these and simply drag them all at once. And to select all, I would click on one, hold down the command key, type the letter A for all, and then drag these emails into my Skype mailbox. Now you'll see a number one here because I haven't actually read one of the emails. This indicates unread mail, the number right next to the mailbox. Okay, and there it is. There's a little blue dot that shows me I haven't read it. I can click on it just to turn that off. Right, okay, so now I have my Skype mailbox and my Skype mail is in there. In my inbox, I only have one other errant email. And I can continue to add more mailboxes or folders by clicking on the plus sign and selecting new mailbox again. And here again, I want to confirm that I'm saving it to the same place. Over time, I'll then have a listing here of folders that I can move mail into. Now, again, if you'd like to automate how your mail is uh, processed once it comes into Apple Mail, you can set up something called a rule. Click on Mail, Preferences, go to Rules at the top, Rules tab, and I can add a rule. Click on Add Rule and I'll call this the Skype rule as an example. You don't have to do this for Skype of course, I'm just choosing some random name for it. Now if any of the following conditions are met, if the recipient, any recipient, because I may have five, six, seven email addresses installed on Apple Mail if I so choose, if any recipient contains a specific name, let's say, uh, well, we won't go that way actually, Let's say instead that if the um, sender is in my address book or sender is not in my address book or if the sender is a specific name, member of a group and so forth, let's see if it's from, let's say, if from contains Skype, then move the message to my Skype folder. So from now on, if I, yeah, I'll apply that. If I leave that rule active, every time any mail comes in from the Skype organization, it will automatically end up in the Skype folder. And as you noticed earlier, if I decide to, uh, so you just mark this as unread, if some of these mails come in and I haven't seen them yet, I haven't read them yet by clicking on them, then a number will appear next to the Skype folder and I'll know, aha, 
outside of my inbox I have in my specialized customized folders here mail that has not been read yet so I need to click on that take a look at that and then read it now this brings me to the next point uh, you have the choice as to how your mail is presented when it comes in you can either organize your mail by the from category so all of the skypes all of the other uh, email addresses are listed here in this column or I can organize it by subject which I can't imagine why you would do because it does it alphabetically you see a very warm welcome here and so forth you'll never find anything really the most useful the most common setting would be to organize it by date received so that as the mail comes in it is either at the very bottom or at the very top of your list and once you have multiple thousands of emails as we do here in the office you're not going to want to have to uh, search through them for your latest mail so one of the most common problems that our new clients have with their new computers is that they can't find new mail as it comes in because as they were m moving their mouse around with Apple Mail they accidentally clicked on subject or they accidentally clicked on from so everything came in alphabetically rather than chronologically to fix that all you have to do is click on date received and what we like to do is see the newest mail at the top so we click here on this arrow and as you can see by the timeline the newest mail does indeed end up at the top now we're in the Skype mailbox so let's click on inbox well here we don't have very much in, in this example setup right now but if you do it that way you'll see that chronologically at the top is really preferable for receiving mail so now we've covered how to set up a separate folder for organizing your mail there's really no limit to what you can do here and uh, that's done by going into um, excuse me by clicking on the plus sign down here and giving it a name and so forth and then we can set up rules in preferences for mail not system preferences but mail preferences you simply go in here and click on rules you add a rule fill in a name for the rule and then you can decide of course whether you're going to use that name excuse me that rule or not by clicking the checkbox that either makes it active or does not once you're done with that rule you can then choose to remove it if you like uh, just don't get too carried away with rules sometimes when people start a new rule they get carried away and put in a lot of extra parameters you can click on the plus sign here and give it all kinds of parameters if then so forth you know logic trees uh, and what will happen is you'll end up with mail ending up in various folders for various parameters you've set up keep it simple don't get too carried away with your rules as some clients have done in the end they don't know where their mail ended up because they have so many folders and so many very complex rules that actually conflict with each other and that's just a added feature of Apple mail rules extra mailboxes for organizing your mail and a few options for viewing them either chronologically or alphabetically.